Chip, you often talked about uh, teachable moments. Were there many teachable moments that you saw in film that you took into practice this week that you've been focusing on? Yeah, there are, but there are every single week. You know, and when, when you win, you don't just like take a quick look at the tape and say, hey, we're good, let's move on. You know, it's, it's, uh, there's corrections are made, and, and uh, you know, kind of our system is that we, we pride ourselves in our consistency. And, um, we do the same exact things. We have an offense, defense, debrief meeting every, uh, every Monday morning that the coordinators run, and then we have position meetings, and then, you know, and that's the same thing. There's what do we do positive, what do we do negative, how do we move on? So, um, you know, our, our, our method for how we do things is it hasn't changed, you know, when you win a game or you lose a game because there's a lot of corrections that are made when you when you win a game, you know, and I think if you don't address them when you win games, then you're, you're not going to win many. So um, I think we kind of pride ourselves on our consistency. Rick, over the time that you've been here, how has your appreciation or your perspective on the Civil War changed? It hasn't. It's the last game of the year. It's the biggest game we play. So can't be bigger than I make it every year. So questions? Up, oh, Jason. Might be the elephant in the room here, Chip. But your name is spreading like wildfire about NFL. Uh, a lot of people say you're the hottest prospect out there, coaching wise. Would you like to address that? No. Uh, Marcus was a little tough on himself out there, taking a lot of blame for a lot of things that went wrong. Can you surmise his performance and what he can uh, learn from it? You know, it's one thing you love about the kid is I think he he uh, takes everything to heart. And, and, and um, as I told our kids immediately after the game, you know, the loss on Saturday hurt really, really bad. And, and it hurts really, really bad when you've invested so much in it. You know, if, if you didn't put a lot into it and you go out there and lose a game, it's no big deal. You know, but I think for this group, they, they've done everything as a staff that, that we've asked them to. They're as invested as any group I've ever been around. So, um, you know, he's always been that way. You know, I think the one thing people don't realize is he's the same exact way when we win. You know, he's, he's in here watching tape and how can I do it better and how can I make it better. And, um, you know, that's what makes him a special player. So um, everybody had a hand in, in us losing on Saturday. Not, and it never just falls on one kid. Um, you know, you, you win as a team and you lose as a team. And, and our players understand that, but when you when you see a kid like that, you understand you know, why why we know he's such a special kid because of how hard he is, and you watch how well he's practiced the last two days. You know, you, you get excited about the next opportunity to go out there and kind of straighten the ship out. So.